So what do you think when you hear the words Michael Bay movie? Explosions, macho men, and ammunition? Well, now the master of cinematic mayhem is taking on the delicate issue of the 2012 Benghazi attacks that led to the death of four Americans. So will Captain Fireball handle this issue with kid gloves? Well, if you think so, you don't know Michael Bay. Ready and go. Based on the book of the same name, 13 Hours tells what happened in Benghazi, Libya from the point of view of the security contractors who were there. Taking place in the months after Muammar Gaddafi's death, the men find a country in freefall where they are considered hired help. Everybody, this is Jack Silva. Jack. We train SEALs at Coronado, so he knows the drill. It admits this lumberjack convention of bearded he-men is John Krasinski as Jack, a former SEAL who left his wife, daughters, and their treehouse to make some money. Bay wastes little time filling the screen with his machismo. How willing are you to die for your country? I'm gonna go right here, right now. Now, Bay has always had a close relationship with the military, and in 13 hours he focuses on the dynamics between the gung-ho alpha males versus the egghead CIA chief. The ambassador is in his safe haven. You're not the first responders. You're the last resort. You will wait. As the American embassy comes under attack, the bureaucrats follow protocol until the contractors decide to save the day. None of you have to go. But we are the only help they have. This is the perfect situation for the smash em up bash em up director, focusing on firepower over finesse. With super saturated colors and explosions aplenty, 13 Hours puts us in the middle of the chaotic attack where militants swarm out of the fields like never ending zombie hordes. Zombies because the enemy here is brainless. It's not about understanding, but the kind of full throttle impossible to follow action that has become the Bay brand. It's a movie where the pauses in between battle go from the fog of war to the haze of foreshadowing. Every time I go home to Becky and those girls, I think this is it. When he's not forced to be sentimental, John Krasinski's sardonic Jack adds a much needed touch of humor to the heroes. While the first victim of 13 Hours script is the predictable pathos, Bay's mission is clear. Honor the private security who saved the Americans and save sorting out the mess in Libya for another movie. Two and a half stars out of five. Eli Glasner, CBC News.